We'll use this straight stitch as an example. Use the standard presser foot A for this stitch. Turn off the power switch before replacing the presser foot. Select this stitch pattern. Lower the presser foot and start sewing. At the sewing end, stop sewing and push the thread trimming button to trim the threads. Push the thread trimming button to trim the threads. The presser foot will be raised automatically. Turn the hand wheel and let the needle enter at the position of sewing start. Push the black button by finger and lower the presser foot. Release the finger from the black button and start sewing. When the presser foot will be on the fabric completely, the black button will be disengaged automatically. When the sewing is stopped, the presser foot will be raised with the needle inside the fabrics. Change the sewing direction, lower the presser foot, and then start sewing. After the sewing is finished, push the reverse stitch button. Reinforcement stitch is used for invisible lock stitch. At the sewing end, push the lock stitch button. The machine can automatically sew lock stitches or reinforcement stitches at the beginning of sewing. After selecting a pattern, you can press the automatic lock stitch and thread trimming button to display the symbol on the screen. By pressing it again, this marking is displayed and the stitch shifts to reinforcement. Place the fabric in the sewing start position and begin sewing. The machine sews a few back stitches or reinforcement stitches and continues. You can choose the stitch pattern at the sewing end. By pressing the reverse stitch button, the machine sews reverse stitches, stops sewing, and trims threads automatically. By pressing the lock stitch button, the machine sews reinforcement stitches, stops sewing, and trims threads automatically. It is possible to change the needle position with the zigzag width adjusting dial. Turning to the left, the needle moves to the left. Turning to the right, the needle moves to the right. It is possible to change the stitch length with the stitch length adjusting dial. Turning to the left, the displayed value becomes smaller and the stitch length becomes smaller accordingly. Turning to the right, the displayed value becomes larger and the stitch length becomes larger.